Hello and welcome back to Try Your Hand. I'm Brenda and today we're going to be making a no so snowman. Why don't we get into the supplies? So the first thing that you'll need is a sock, a white one preferably, a piece of felt, a ribbon, three buttons, three rubber bands, your little bag of poly beads and a thinner ribbon. For the supplies that you'll need that we don't have provided for you, you will need a black marker or sharpie, a pair of scissors, and a hot glue gun. The first step is to fill the toe of your sock with the poly beads. The way that I did this was by taking like a little container so you can take a cup or something like that filling it with the poly beads and then putting the sock over the the top of that container and then tipping the container over into the sock if you do it any other way poly beads will go everywhere trust me that's what happened to me So once all your poly beads are in the sock itself, you want to make sure that all the poly beads are at the toe. And then once you have figured out where exactly the poly beads, you know, end, you can then wrap that section of the sock with a rubber band. Make sure to wrap it tightly so that no poly beads fall out. So now we have to make the head and the body of the snowman. In order to do that, we take one of our rubber bands and wrap our rubber band around more or less the middle. You kind of want it to be a little bit higher so that the head is smaller than the rest of the body. So you want your rubber band to be, you know, a little bit closer to like the um, ankle part of the sock instead of the toe part of the sock. And one thing that I do need to mention is that you do want it to be very tight, that rubber band. Otherwise, um, the beads will start to fall from the head and go into the body, making the head of your snowman smaller than it, you want it to be. So just make sure that it's really tight. Uh, so wrap, wrap it around a good three, four times if you can. Now you want to trim the excess off the top of your snowman. and then put that trimmed off section off to the side because we'll use that later. So the next thing that I did was kind of uh, zhuzh the beads around so that my snowman kind of looked the way that I wanted it to look. Um, and then I decided where I wanted my buttons to be exactly. So once I kind of decided, I put a little bit of glue, just a little bit, and be careful because hot glue is hot, on my button, and then I placed that button right where I wanted it to be. And so with the other two buttons, I did the exact same thing, making sure that the buttons lined up nicely. And also, uh, sorry that you get a nice view of the back of my ear. Once I finished gluing the buttons, I decided to put the eyes on my snowman. So I took that Sharpie that I had and I kind of made a couple of dots. Um, and I wanted it centered with the buttons, so I kind of just made the eyes a little bit bigger if I felt as if the two dots were a little off. Um, which worked out fine, because the eyes, you do kind of, kind of want them to be bigger than, let's say, the uh, mouth parts. So with the mouth, all I did was just put dots from like one side, one eye to the other um, in a sem semicircle. And really you can do whatever you want. It doesn't have to be circles. You could do triangles. So 
So now to make the nose, what I did was with that little piece of felt, I just cut out two different triangles to make that carrot nose. Once I cut out those two triangles, I just glued them together, leaving the um, bottom edge of the triangle unglued. Um, so what this does is it sticks the two pieces of felt together, but it also gives it a little bit of a firmness so that the um, nose doesn't like fall to one side. With that, with that uh, short end um, of the nose, I just put a little bit more glue in that and then I stuck it right on the center of the face of my snowman. So as you can see, I'm showing you how I didn't glue that portion, that end. Now I will glue it and then um, stick it onto the face of my snowman. So the next thing that I did was put the little scarf on my snowman. So I took that thicker piece of ribbon and I wrapped it around his neck uh, so that it left this little like cute little cross on the side. And I glued one section to the sock itself and then the other section right on top of that on top of the um, ribbon itself. And then I cut off the um, excess bits off. So with the top portion of the sock, I just trimmed it a little bit more and then glued down that trimmed edge just to secure that rubber band on the snowman itself and also um, keeping, it, keeping that section flat so that when I put the little hat on my snowman, it doesn't quite, um, it doesn't like make the hat stand up straight. So with this other section of the sock that we cut off, what we're going to do is trim off the heel portion of the sock. Um, and then we're gonna take our other rubber band and rubber band the section that was cut off on this long piece uh, together. And we're gonna do that very tightly. Um, of course, you want it to be kind of on the smaller side, though that really depends on the size of your snowman's head. Um, just to make like this cute little beanie. So I flipped it over inside out just to make sure I liked that size. And then, you know, I thought it was a little too big. So I made the rubber band go a little bit um, further down closer to the hemmed edge of the sock.
And then once I was finished with that, I just trimmed off any excess and I tried to then fit it to his head. So what I did is I have folded over that hemmed edge on my hat there just to make it look, you know, like a beanie. And once I kind of got it to a place that I liked it, I trimmed off any excess of that hat um, away and then I uh, replaced it onto my snowman's head and then glued the hat in place onto my snowman. So I just put a little bit of a dot um, at the front and a bit of a dot on the back and that stuck pretty good. So with that smaller piece of ribbon, what I did was make a little bow on my snowman. So I just really used, you know, how you tie your shoes, like that sort of bow, on that one single piece of thread, though I used the uh, bunny ear method here. And I kind of did it in the center of the um, ribbon, just so that I had enough tails to be able to wrap it around the hem edge of the snowman's hat so I can glue it on there. So once I got my bow to how I liked it, I took a little dab of hot glue and glued it onto where I wanted the bow to sit on the snowman's hat. And I just like placed the, um, the little bow right on that hot glue and then took my little pieces of ribbon and just wrapped it around his hat. And at the, at the back, I tied it and then glued that in place as well.
and now your snowman is complete so I hope you guys had fun with this project I know I certainly did it was a very fun easy project to do for our next try your hand we will be doing a paper mache moon so if you're interested in that go ahead and sign up let us know how you like this project and also if you'd like you can send us pictures through Instagram and through Facebook all those links will be down in the description below all right thank you and uh, hope to see you next time bye